um, quite a team because on the advice of a doctor we saw Dr. Gikonyo last night and what he said so although we may have wanted to come last night but we realized that uh, the second deputy president uh, Honorable Rigadi needed a lot of time with the doctors but this morning we are privileged that Dr. Gikonyo has allowed some of us to to see him um, so um, I have been able to see him along with Dr. Bamoshmua Eugene Wamalwa and Senator Nyutu um, on behalf of the senators who are here. Uh, so we, we thank God that um, he looks stable um, and of course it is upon the doctors to continue concluding uh, the investigations that they were, they were doing. Um, so that is what we can say as of now. We all watched what happened in the Senate um, and some of you may have seen the interview that I contacted on Citizen Television where I predicted <laughs> that things were going to move very, very fast. The whole thing predetermined. Uh, I once was Deputy Speaker of Parliament and one of the worst mistakes you can make as a legislator is to anticipate debate. The whole National Assembly anticipated the outcome of the deliberations of the Senate. Um, but we want to thank um, the Senators, we want to thank the legal team. Um, it is historic and it's all because of Constitution 2010 which is why we are saying he is the second Deputy President even as we speak he's still Deputy President um, so I was the 10th Vice President Eugene Amalo's elder brother was what version was it? The 8th the 8th uh, so these things are are important. It's part of our history, it's part of our heritage as a people, and we are in the process of consolidating our nationhood as a country within the community of nations. But what happened in the Senate last night was as historic as it was had serious flaws and clearly I think Kenya should expect a protracted uh, legal arguments because we didn't even discuss this with, Dr. with the Honorable Gachagua but we are aware that his teams have already moved to court it's expected um, and, and as senior counsel I can tell you uh, that uh, you cannot, the law of natural justice demands that no person, no person, man or woman, shall be condemned and had. And it was all there, Senior Counsel Paul Muite, leading a very strong team, were able to argue with regard to what the Constitution at Article 145 5B says before the vote before the Senate took the vote they could only do so after affording an opportunity to Deputy President to defend himself there are other arguments of course by Senior Counsel Jim Orengo and uh, Tienda Molo on the other side yeah so we, we respect all of that but uh, truth be told um, this whole thing smacks of injustice, gross injustice, political manipulation, and all of us know this is a political trial. And therefore, once again, we want to thank the senators who stood firm on both sides. We can't condemn even those who voted for the impeachment. We can't condemn. They did what was their 
their responsibility regardless of what may have happened in the back rooms or wherever. And then the country continues to learn a lot from this impeachment process. So once again, we wish Mushma Rigadi Gachagwa very quick recovery. And we thank God that he has spared his life. He's a giver of life. And by his stripes, we believe that uh, uh, Gachagwa will be healed. Kama kuna kitu mwenzangu angeongeza, anaweza kuongeza, and one senator maybe, and one zua on the uh, kwa Kiswahili ndio ni kusema basi ni kusema kwamba tumemwona eh pata fursa ya kumwona uh, mheshimiwa Rigadhi Gachagwa uh, naibu wa rais wa hamu ya pili chini ya katiba 2010 na tashukuru Mungu kwamba anaendelea vyema kulingana na ripoti ambayo tumepatiwa na madaktari lakini bado hako na udhaifu na kwa hivyo atunge hata kumzungumzia hata zaidi uh, tuamtakia kila laheri atuna budi ila pia kuangazia yaliyofanyika jana kwa uh, seneti eh, tuapongeza tu, tu wale maseneta ambao walichukua msimamo mamo wake katiba lakini kama wanasheria mi mwenyewe najiunga wazi na yale ambayo mheshimiwa uh, senior council uh, Paul Mwiti aliyozungumzia uh, juu ya ukeukaji wa sheria kikatiba na mambo yao na, na, na mahia maneno ni wazi yata yataangaziwa yata kindani sana kwa mahakama And we continue to insist that the last line of defense for the future of this country remains our judiciary. So we want to urge that justice reign. Heavens may fall, but may justice reign. May justice reign in our courts. May there be men and women able to avoid a situation of state capture as we have said this country this country's economy is under state capture we all have said it openly before that the legislature itself is under capture by the executive and we will as a people's loyal opposition continue to talk to Kenyans have conversations about that fearlessly knowing that this is a country under God. My colleague can add something.